darlings it has been such a long time since I've done a video I'm really sorry I've been quite poorly but now the sun's out I'm feeling a bit better and um, I can get on and do some craft videos some Timu hauls as well which is what I'm going to do today I've had a little Timu order it's not very big but I have some other orders that I can go through with you but I'll do that in a separate video or two or three <laughs> so first thing is I bought this bracket this lazy bracket so I can't show you it because my phone is actually on it right now it's got this really strong and it did take all my strength to twist it into the shape I wanted it um, it's really strong it holds it really well but if I move the table if I just go like that you can see it bounces around so try and stop it bouncing there we go um, but it looks really good it's got a really um, good like clamp for your phone it won't fit it crossways but it will fit it this way and also you can put your tablet on it I have got an 11 inch tablet and even it fits that only a crosswise um, the width not not the length it wouldn't fit the length um, because it, it's quite hard to pull out and if you pull it too much it'll probably break so that's called a lazy bracket I don't know if that's backwards or not to you but it's called a lazy bracket I'll put the um, link and the price I paid for it below but it wasn't that much it was only like three three or four pounds um, anyway next some clothing an item of clothing um, I don't use, usually do clothing because um, I don't buy loads of it but this it's a lovely little shawl so can you see that so let's see if I put it on trouble is my hair gets in the way so it's like a very light little shawl you see that and then pull it down it's not very it only comes to around here right midway down your back and then you can tie it just below your boobs and uh, there we go how's that look can you see that and that is a size 2 XL and that would look lovely with a nice dress or something if you're going out um, so I bought a it's kind of a silvery white this one I'll try and get it off now uh, there we go so it's kind of a silvery white it's got can you see the little there's a little bit of sparkle in there I don't know if you can see it but lovely I like that it's nice and light you wouldn't know you've got it on <clears throat> so I bought one in that colour and I bought another one in this colour so it's still see-through <coughs> same size but it's a black sparkly that's silver it's not white so, so it's a black sparkly one and it would go nice with a nice dress any kind of dress really black and white are quite universal so if you're going out for an evening you don't want a heavy cardigan put something like this on <clears throat> these are really thin and that but actually it's surprising it does keep a little bit of the heat in so it keeps you a bit warmer on those uh, little bit chilly summer nights summer evenings um, malt I'm always buying malt I should be using them but I get excited <laughs> get a bit excited about silicon moulds but this one sorry about the printing guys it's just stuck to the bag there we go so this one can you see that these are earring moulds now 
other molds I've got for earrings are really annoying because you only get like one and you're expected to make two like do one then another one afterwards which is really annoying because you can never get the same colour twice so this one you've got pairs of earrings and they're not your normal just your shape and whatever they're patterned I like this one and these I like shooting stars you've got the moon phases this is the moon phases because I'm a bit of a bit of a moon worshipper me a bit of a witch <laughs> and more moon phases there and some moons actual moons themselves these are either little moons sorry not these are not moons this Saturn these are little moons or little suns depending on what you want them to be and then you've got these lovely things lovely triangle shaped ones and then you've got these they're like sunshine so lovely I should be making some of them soon next okay so <clears throat> crafting you know I do the resin I've done a little bit of decoupage with you as well I'm also a sewist sewer sewist whatever you want to call it um, I make bags I make pencil cases um, I do make clothes on the odd occasion but I'm not so great with clothes um, it's the patterns that put me off um, I really struggle to follow the patterns um, some somebody suggested that I might have ADHD which would make sense because with ADHD you struggle to follow written down instructions and things like that sometimes um, and I'm very creative I like to kind of see how it's made and then go and make it myself so I'm more a visual learner rather than read the instructions to do it so when somebody gives me a pattern to make something I'm like sod this I, I want to do what I want to do do you know what I mean so anyway I bought a tape a strip of zip so it, so you can cut it into the lengths you need because at the moment I'm making pouches zipper pouches bags and stuff for a summer fair for my um, five mile just support group so you get I can't remember how long that is actually but like I said before I'll put the description and that in the um, bit below the section below and you get several of the actual zips how many do you get here two four six eight I think there's ten in there ten zips a nice good roll there's probably about two or three meters there so that will do um, quite well you can get all sorts of colors on Timu you've got like flowery ones and ones that are kind of um, oh what do you call it when the one color fades into the other Om ombre ombre something like that um, but you can yeah you can get all sorts of colors zips zip rolls tapes um, so yeah so that was only a couple of quid really cheap um, what else do you have? I think this is the last one actually this is item of clothing now this it was a dress they offered it to me for a ridiculously low price it was like £5.35 or something like that and it's gone back up to £11 something now I might have to stand up for this one I've got parasol this <laughs> um, so it's red and there we go guys can you see that so red it's like a crossover got a crossover bit there um, and I can't show you how long it is so my dress is like a maxi dress it goes right down to my ankle well right down to my feet so this is a good what would that be a foot and a half 
I don't know what that would be in an in inches. Um, six, 16 and 17 inches, 18 inches, something like that. Shorter than that. So it comes to just below my knee. So it's very pretty. It's made of like that polyester material. Can you see it? Stretchy. It's stretchy polyester material. But it is very nice. Very... It's quite well made. I can't see any like, you know, sometimes you get cheap things and then not very well stitched and things, but this one seems okay. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put it on guys, but I'll probably wear it when I go out. I'm going out soon to a um a dinner. I might wear it then with one of those little shawls. That would look nice. With my hair done, maybe done up. So that's the last one today. Uh, I've got I've got a load more Timu stuff, um, which I really need to dig into because they're still sitting in the bag. So guys, my video just cut off for some reason. Um, I was just saying that I've got three or four more bags of Timu stuff that I have looked at but I haven't actually taken it out of the bag I put it back in the bag I haven't actually taken it out of the bag and actually used any of it which probably means I shouldn't have bought it in the first place <laughs> so um, yeah I just get a bit you know excited when I see nice things and especially when they're really cheap um, so, I will do another Timu um, video soon. You might even see me doing a nice little resin video, doing some earrings. Um, and, uh, oh, guys, if this, this video should come out before, if you're in my local area, on the... Saturday the 6th of July I'm sure it's the 6th of July there is a summer fair in um, aid of the fibromyalgia support group in Blandford Forum in Dorset at the Scout Hut um, bear with me I need to find out the time <laughs> so fibro fog so six, Saturday 6th of July did I say June? I can't remember <laughs> we're nearly at the end of June already where has this year gone? Um, Saturday 6th of July uh, 10 o'clock until 2 o'clock so if you can make it if you're in the local area and you can make it please come and support us there'll be all sorts of different um, stalls, craft stalls, plant stalls, um, oh, cakes, cakes, there'd be lots of cakes, tea, coffees and drinks, um, there'll be other people having uh, tables and selling their their crafts or their whatever, um, so please come along if you can make it and I will see you in the next video guys take care of yourselves make sure you hit the thumbs up subscribe hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss my next video and it won't be so long as this one was and take care of yourselves wherever you are in the world bye bye